Hey what's going on guys, it's Tom here back today with another video. Today we're going to be talking about what I think is the best shotgun coming to Black Ops 2 and this is just based on my opinions from playing the game. I was really lucky to get some good hands on playing time with the game and made sure I used all the shotguns so I could give you guys a fair view on it. So firstly the gameplay in the background, this is a bit of Spaz 12 action on Nuketown on the original Black Ops. I was like lagging all over the place, you know, it was just a crazy game but I wanted to get some shotgun gameplay to show you in the background. But yeah, I wanted to move on and talk about all the Black Ops 2 shotguns that come to the game then just give you my views on them from what how I kind of felt when I was playing with them. So the shotguns that are going to be coming to the game are the R870 MCS, the M1216, the Sega 12 and the KSG. And it just feels like there should be a few more shotguns in there. I'm not sure if there are going to be classified weapons in this year's game, but so far those are the only four that we know of. And one kind of general thing I have to say about the shotguns this year, compared to the original Black Ops, is that there's a lot more attachments that are available for the shotguns, because you guys will probably remember in the original Black Ops, I think there was only like maximum of one attachment available for the shotguns. Then this year you actually have a range of attachments. Some of them are going to be really good stuff, like the long barrel is going to give you increased range. That's going to really help out the shotguns. But now going through each of the shotguns in turn, I'm going to start off with the R870 MCS. It's a pump action shotgun. I've said a little bit about it in my Black Ops 2 shotgun class. It's like a beefed up version of the stakeout. That's how I kind of felt it was. Very reminiscent of that gun. It's pretty powerful. And yet I say it was like the stakeout from Black Ops. You just got more one hit kills. And I think the time between kind of the pump action was a little bit faster. So it's definitely better than the stakeout in the original Black Ops. Next shotgun is the M1216. Now this is a fully automatic shotgun. However, it comes with a cyclical magazine, which is chambered into quarters. And I've actually gone over this before. When I was actually giving you my Black Ops 2 weapon previews but basically this is the world's first ever 16 round shotgun however there are four different four round chambers so you can fire four rounds automatically but then you're going to have to manually rotate the chamber to actually shoot the next four and then do it again and again until you are out of all the rounds and then you have to reload the whole magazine that reload actually looks very similar to the pp90 reload from modern warfare 3 but in terms of you know switching the chambers the player does it automatically it just takes you know half a second so so it's not too long but it does break up that automatic shooting in terms of how this gun worked though it worked actually quite well generally you know if you were on target you were guaranteed to kill someone within the first four bullets that you fired before you had to reload but say you're kind of limited because the damage or the range doesn't feel that great on the shotgun and you're kind of limited to killing maybe maximum two people per four shots at the very maximum you might only just kill one person per four shots next one is the semi-automatic sega 12 it kind of reminds me a little bit of the spaz 12 the black ops version where it was semi-automatic the range isn't great on this gun though you do have to be very close quarters for it to work now the final shotgun is the KSG, returning from Modern Warfare 3, however in this year's game it's a lot different, by default it fires a slug round, meaning that it's not actually a shotgun pellet that it fires, where the pellets spread it's going to fire a single slug round, meaning that if you're on point it's going to be a one hit kill, however you do have to be highly accurate with this gun. And I'd say that's a kind of common thing with the shotguns in this year's game, I found that you know with any shotgun you have to be really accurate, it feels like the kind of bullet spread with the kind of pellets of the shotgun is a lot smaller in this year's game, because in previous games you know you didn't have to be that accurate with the shotgun, if you were kind of shooting towards the opponent, you know, some of the pellets were going to hit and you were going to do damage. Whereas in this game, I was shooting, you know, just to the left of someone and none of the bullets actually registered. None of the pellets actually registered damage. So I think people that are really accurate, you know, you can have a good year with shotguns. However, people who aren't so accurate are going to maybe struggle with the shotguns in this year's game. In terms of the best shotgun that I think is going to be on day one from what I've played of it, I think if you're really accurate, as I just said, the KSG is going to be absolutely beast. Otherwise, I actually like the M1216. I think that's a good alternative. Stick extended mag on it as well. It's got 24 rounds. So you've got a lot of bullets and a lot of firepower. And, you know, if you can get close up, it's really going to work well for you. So, guys, that's my opinions on the shotgun. Let me know which one of these you like the look of the most. And I just want to say a big thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like if you're still here and you enjoyed this video. And also make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Apart from that, check out a couple of my previous videos. Got those on screen right now. And I'll be catching you guys with some more videos over the weekend.